you are looking for a lightweight running shoe, if you care about the straightening of your feet, if you want to stay strong with a low stockade shoe, increasing your speed, your control and running fast as you want, then the RC3 is the shoe you are looking for. No crazy price, no complex technology, just a single layer of light strike foam on top of an Adiwear wrapper outsole, which keep you light and responsive, ensuring your breathability and traction. More durable than the RC2, especially in the upper, thanks to the overlay material on the single layer mesh. In this video, I will show you its overall conditions after 15 miles, giving you some important information to take into account before to buy. So stay till the end and enjoy. Welcome back guys in another new video. I think thanks to all of you who is already subscribed, supporting the channel. For the others, please uh, consider to subscribe, uh, clicking the button here below, so you will support the channel for free. Say that uh, this week we have tested the uh, RC3 after 50 miles. Uh, let's see my impressions and uh, how it looks. As usual, let's start with the um, running dynamic metrics collected, and uh, which are the ground contact time and the vertical oscillation ratio. Uh, during the test, uh, um, I didn't notice any remarks changes in this regard uh, so yes the light strike form in the midsole is uh, a bit softer uh, than at the beginning but I would say that uh, the initial values uh, presented in the previous uh, video which uh, link you can find up here are basically still uh, uh, the same so it means that the shoe uh, doesn't wear out uh, quickly and uh, it is still responsive and uh, uh, in terms of efficiency no changes at all outsole now in fact looking at the outsole uh, is basically brand new uh, of course there are some scratches in the torsion system but uh, uh, it is still working uh, uh, properly uh, even in the area uh, where i usually uh, land uh, it is still perfect uh, so the hardware rubber in the outsole is uh, uh, a good quality uh, material therefore the traction is still assured and um, as i said in the initial video review it has a good traction and grip uh, uh, especially considering uh, uh, that the shoe uh, that we are talking about is a road uh, shoe for fast workouts and uh, for racing. Midsole now. The midsole, as we said, is the light strike foam and um, I had just the feeling that it started to become uh, a little bit softer uh, and more comfortable, especially in the heel. Uh, and uh, this impression has been confirmed uh, um, by the running dynamic metrics collected. Uh, so no changes and uh, considering that I used the RC2, the previous version of the uh, RC3, uh, for 500 kilometers uh, and uh, it was performing great. Uh, I believe uh, I can uh, uh, predict more than 500 uh, uh, kilometers. Uh, 
uh, easily for the midsole uh, for my uh, RC3. This data can be affected, as you know, uh, from your weight, uh, from your running technique. Uh, so um, I can't say uh, that for all of us is the same, uh, but you could consider um, a range between uh, 500 kilometers thanks to the light track form and uh, to the classic and old-fashioned uh, style uh, of uh, this shoe. No huge stagate and no huge quantity of foam in the midsole. Upper now. In regard to the hub, uh, if you remember, uh, in the RC2, uh, the only complaint I had was uh, related to the hub uh, that after 100 miles uh, become too loose, uh, with the result that the shoe uh, lost control and uh, stability. In the RC3, Adidas changed only the hopper. Uh, which um, has a denser mesh and uh, more solid, uh, but a bit less breathable and uh, more durable. Moreover, they added also an overlay material, which adds a little bit of uh, uh, support and avoid the uh, unpleasant uh, feeling of looseness, uh, um, which I had uh, uh, with the RC2. So it seems that this issue is solved somehow and uh, or at least uh, uh, less evident than in the previous version uh, with the result of uh, a really nice shoe simple with a, a normal price um, even less than 100 euro uh, that you can use for your fast training or for racing the only change that i didn't appreciate is the hard counter in the heel uh, you can see here is really uh, rigid and uh, solid of course it's good for uh, your protection but it's really uh, hard and uh, during a long uh, training uh, of 15 km with the RC3 uh, I felt the counter too rigid and uh, I had pain uh, in my heel during uh, the day after. So I would say in conclusion uh, uh, the overall condition of the um, RC3 after 50 miles are great uh, uh, better than the RC2 because um, the, the household is uh, Brand new, the midsole is basically uh, the same, uh, the same response, uh, uh, the same efficiency. Um, the hopper is now um, more solid uh, and uh, still breathable. But yeah, uh, while with the RC2, I was able to do some uh, long training uh, with the RC3. Um, I can't uh, because this issue in the heel uh, with the counter which is too hard uh, so I will use them only for uh, fast workouts and a short race uh, no more than uh, uh, 10 kilometers so guys this is it for the second review video for the RC3 if you like leave a like if you want to see more subscribe uh, supporting the channel and uh, you won't miss any new video as usual thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one so Not stable at all.